So, uh, pretty sure it's supposed to start at 9. Conference room C. Old reliable, I call it. Another conference room. It's like a slight echo. I like this place because it has the right amount of bass. It's like having a meeting in your shower. Yeah. I had an idea for like a karaoke place mm-hmm. that was in a shower. Because everyone sounds their best when they're singing in the showers. I had some meetings with some venture capitalists, but their lawyers wouldn't clear it. Something about karaoke equipment and water. Now, would people be dressed? Once you're singing in front of people, you might as well be naked. God, it must be terrible to be like a karaoke DJ. Yeah, you always have to look like you're uh, having fun. Instead, you're just thinking, why haven't we progressed since the 80s? They have 80s night at bars, but in the 80s, what did they call it? Was it just night? Well, in the 80s, people were really into the 50s. Does that mean that during the 50s, they were nostalgic for the 20s? And had parties where they'd pretend to invent jazz? Listen to Rock Around the Clock on top of a flagpole? I guess that means in the 20s, pretty much like Old West themed parties. Those never go out of style, you know? I went to one this weekend. I was a cowboy and an Indian. America finally found some sort of reconciliation within the framework of your costume. You know, I used to dress up like cowboys and Indians, and people used to think, what a powerful statement. Then Barack Obama became president, and he sort of stole my thunder a little. Yeah, Barack Obama dressed up like a Native American. Game over. Been drinking a lot of tea lately. Tea is relaxing, but it has caffeine in it. I think it's more of like a time-release caffeine. As you keep drinking it throughout the day, you will work yourself up into some kind of tea frenzy. But you never really hear about anyone being strangled to death at a tea house, you know, or tea brawls. What I don't understand is why the colonists decided that they needed to dress up as Native Americans to throw tea into Boston Harbor. That's not really a disguise. It's just taking your shirt off and putting on some feathers. In I- fact, you probably could see more birthmarks that would define somebody. Ben Franklin had one in the shape of a robot. Yeah, but they didn't know what a robot was back then. Exactly. Look at that really angular human. These days we have the tea bag protesters, but people don't drink tea in the same way. Now there's iced tea. You gotta bring some ice, throw that into the lake, some lemon. This could really add up. So Sandy's pregnant. Sandy in accounting, yeah. Are we required to give her some kind of gift? I mean, I think when somebody's pregnant, I think that's it. I think they're done. They've received the ultimate gift, the gift of being able to give life. It's like they should give you a gift. I feel like you owe me something, because I cannot do that. I'll take a check, gift card to Trader Joe's. Where's my womb? I'm usually afraid to have karaoke parties for like a birthday party. Because I want people to just sort of appreciate me in their life. I don't want them to come away thinking like, that's a horrible singer. He's been alive this long and here's a skill he doesn't really have. It would be like if I had like a welding party. I've seen your car. Or it'd be like, I'm going to have a QuickBooks party. I just really am clueless on QuickBooks. At least you had a good tax return that year. Are you coming to my colonial-themed karaoke party this Sunday? Are we required to only sing songs from that period? Yeah. Folk tunes and, uh... Mm-hmm. Is this because you have that public domain karaoke machine? Yeah. If I ever got a raise around here, maybe things would be different. Till then, what should we do with a drunken sailor? What should we do with a drunken sailor? What should we do with a drunken sailor? Early in thy morning... Hey ho, and up she rises, hey ho, and up she rises, hey ho, and up she rises early in the morning. Alright, but I'm not bringing beer.